Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Lozzy and today we're going to be doing another Q&A video. Now I did do one of these about three or four weeks ago and I've got a lot of questions. So here we are for part two of that and I've got a lot of questions again to get through. So without further ado, let's just get into them. Okay, so for the first question, two people have asked kind of the same question, both Isaac Grover underscore 96 and Lewis J UK or Lewis Juke have asked how did you get to know Doody or how did you get to know Jordan? Doody, if you don't know him, it is Doody Rhino, uh, my friend Jordan, who I'm on the channel with. I first met him originally when he did work experience at our school. Yeah, so for some reason the staff at the school thought it would be good to place him with the same year group that he was from to do work experience for. Not quite sure, but that's how he met initially. He then went back to school and then we met again in college and that's where our friendship started. Okay, so the second question comes from J underscore Hancock 46 and he asks, would you rather fight a hundred horse sized ducks or a thousand duck sized horses? It's gotta be the 1000 duck sized horses surely because you can just, you know, stamp on them. You know, really do some damage. Yeah, I'll go for that. Next question is from a person called Brooke X Nielsen, and they ask, what's your favorite thing about creating content for YouTube? My favorite thing is probably seeing people's reaction to it. Most of the time, I really do like the editing process of putting a video together, bringing ideas for some reason that might not have necessarily worked or thought you thought were gonna work at the time. You bring them together and it, it makes something entertaining. But the best part, honestly, is to see people's reaction to it actually being entertained by my videos. The, the best form of payment for me at the moment is to see people actually enjoy the content and like my stuff enough to be engaged enough to care about what I say and to care about what happens to the channel so I really do appreciate that but to see people really enjoy it is probably the best part of making YouTube content. Brooks also asked a follow-on question that I did I've, I've never put like a, a limit on questions so I'm gonna put a limit for here on in okay two questions maximum per person okay and they ask again any thoughts of merch coming out soon? I have got one bit of merch that I tried and thought was really bad and I don't actually know why I made this and bought it but I thought fuck it I'm just gonna do it once so I did it I'll show you that right now okay uh, <coughs> that's that's the shirt don't know if you can see that I'll try and pop me that side like that it's meant to say iconic um, you know that's the first shirt I've ever made um, so yeah that's only merch I've actually done and yeah, I might, I'll give that away to someone in a in a in a draw at some later point that I'll do in a video. So if you want a extra large t-shirt with my face on it that says iconic and it keep keep tuned for, for that for that competition. Don't know why the fuck you'd want that, but that's my only attempt at making merch so far. The next question is from Lozzie Appreciation Page and they ask who would be the most ideal person to do collab with or who would I like to do a collab with? I mean, I, I've, I've technically already done a collab with on Duty Rhino with one of the people I did want to do a collab with and that was Jack, mate. That, that cancer advert that we did for the cancer um, live stream where he raised you know over 2700 pounds it was excellent one of the highlights of being on youtube that was probably that whole process was such such an awesome thing to be part of but i'd probably say for my own channel i really like kmac if you've never heard of kmac he does a lot of like kind of music based comedy like myself but it's more involving instruments uh, but I just find them really funny and I, I think we'd do a, 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 a kind of funny sketch together, I would imagine. But yeah, probably K-Mac would probably be the, the most ideal person, I guess. This question is from a person called Jarlo underscore D. Gonna go on the happy hour. I think I'm due to go on the happy hour podcast. I don't know when, but it's definitely like gonna happen. So don't worry about it. They produce pretty much every single time a really entertaining podcast, but hopefully soon. This next question is also from Andy X Cantwell and they ask, what is your favorite video that you've made and what is yet to come? Congrats on hitting 2000 subscribers. First of all, thank you to everyone who subscribed to me and thank you for congratulating me on hitting 2000 subscribers. It was, it was a great milestone to hit. 
I've only been doing this for a matter of months, so it's awesome to get those numbers. In terms of what I think is the best video I've made so far, or the most enjoyable one to make, was probably either the K-pop one, the school disco video, and probably the music lessons at the school. That was a really fun one to do, because in all honesty, I just liked fucking about with a keyboard for about an hour and a half, so. In terms of the best videos to come, there's a few videos that I'm excited for, both on my channel and on Doody Rhino. I'm really excited on Doody Rhino for the meal deal uh, video we're going to be doing, the meal deal documentary. I think that's going to be awesome. If it's anywhere near as good as the ghost stories video, then I'll be absolutely over the moon for that. Uh, in terms of my channel, there's a couple of videos, I don't want to give too much away, but there's a couple of videos that I'm really excited to be start working on. There's a couple I've got planned for quite a while now where I just need the time to film them. I've got my full-time job that I do alongside this, so I'll probably be able to do that when I get some holiday off. So I don't know when abouts that will be, and I don't want to give too much away about it just yet, but there are a couple of videos that I'm really excited to try and film and get it fully written. This next question is asked by team.nero.eu and they ask what's the top five bands you've seen live? Top five, okay, in no particular order. Uh, Muse, 2017, great, awesome, loved them. Uh, 2016 we saw uh, Foles were awesome, knocked it the fuck out of the park, I love Foles. Red Hot Chili Peppers I've wanted to see live for years and years and I did that in 2016 at Reading. Uh, Kings of Leon I've wanted to see live as well and Don Broco every time I've seen them live they've been awesome so they're probably the best ones I've seen the best five. Okay so this next question I've never really been asked before but I've always thought about it from a very early age. Ever since I've been able to make people laugh and make myself laugh, to be honest. This next question is, have you ever thought about doing stand-up comedy? In the short, yes, but I don't know how I'll be able to do it. I haven't necessarily got stage fright, but I'm very conscious about the fact that I've never written a proper comedy script in terms of like a 20 minute set. I would probably most likely be better at doing like a kind of Saturday Night Live monologue type of thing rather than writing an entire 20 minute, rather, rather than writing an entire like 20 minute segment, that may change, I may start to write things and think, wow, actually if I did a monologue I'd be fucked. But yeah, I think at the moment I, I definitely have to do a lot of like writing it, taking stuff out, doing a lot of practice shows, uh, even to like friends and family before I even decided to, take the plunge but at the same time I do think there's an element of trying to overwork yourself there are times where I do think it's slightly better to be pushed in at the deep end and drown rather than pussyfoot your, your way along and then make very little progress if you fail you learn from your mistakes if you never f like get that full sense of absolute failure in my mind, sometimes you don't make the changes that you should make to progress. In short, I'd love to do stand-up comedy. L I would love to do it. I'd love to have a show that <laughs> entertains people at the end of the day. Okay, so this next question is from a person called, and I'm going to butcher this, okay, I've looked at the name. Daniel Howrielak. I don't know how to say that. He just simply asks... Brexit. I haven't really got a lot to say on that to be honest. I mean, fuck it, just do it and let's just see how if the whole world ends, the world ends. You know, the Amazon rainforest is, is burning away, so what damage is this going to do? You know what I mean, the polar ice caps are melting, fuck it. At least uh, Weatherspoons think their prices are going to get lower for alcohol, so get on the search, do you know what I mean? Well, thank you very much for all your questions. I'm sorry if I didn't get quite to answer yours there's a lot of questions that got asked i'll try and put them all in but if i haven't i'm sorry in advance i try and get as many in as possible yeah, that's about it for this video so if you do like it give it a like if you didn't like it there is a button for that you press but that automatically puts you into a category of what i'd like to call a cunt so if you do that just be aware if you did enjoy this video be sure to look at all the other videos i've done i think i've done about 16 17 videos now so there's quite a few to look through and see if you like it 
If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And also, if you do want to support me further, there's always my Patreon. Please go and have a look at that if you're into that at all. It's not a must. If you don't want to, don't do it. I'm not going to force you. I'm not that kind of guy. But other than that, please just keep watching the content. If you like it, like it, share it. And if you haven't already, like I said before, subscribe. I'm not even going to tell you to hit the notification bell because uh, I don't know. I, uh, no one does. Not even YouTube knows. It's an unknown. It's most definitely an unknown. So that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.